Hey guys, I'm Michael Zellick. Hi, I'm Leanna Fichtola. And we're going to welcome you to BDA Cribs. This is our new COVID compliant operating learning center. It's equipped with six classrooms, uh, a kitchen, playground. Come on in. When we walk in, we start with people checking their temperatures. Um, they will disinfect, grab a mask. We have a QR code for them to go through their screening tool, make sure everyone's safe before they come in. And then automatic hand sanitizers to get us started. Guests can check in here at our um, clipboard. They can put their temperature there if they're not part of BDA and they need to log themselves in, check in with Mike or whoever's sitting back there, and then wait for their escort to their classroom. Follow us. We've got classroom one over here, a deep space theme. It's kind of set up for our early learners. A lot of early intervention, intensive teaching, a lot of verbal behavior, trials, and of course, tons of play. We've got our partitions here if needed to be able to separate spaces for kiddos and for technicians, as well as our tabletop um, partitions if needed as our kiddos are learning to wear and tolerate masks. It just gives us another layer of protection. And of course, every classroom is equipped with a sanitation station, making it easy for our technicians to grab what they need to keep the area clean. Down this way we have room two. It's a cool ocean theme. It's equipped for some early and middle elementary school age children. Uh, we still have our partitions and dividers and of course areas for play. Our technicians and teachers can manipulate whether it be rolling carts or um, baskets of materials so that things aren't always out at the same time um, and just keep things kind of flowing and of course sanitized as needed. Welcome to room three. We will soon to be a jungle themed room. Um, again, it's for elementary and early learners. Lots of play, opportunities for um, intensive teaching uh, and skill acquisition. Uh, these rooms down here also have bathrooms if we're doing some potty training and toileting skills. And if you take a look, you can see one of our dinosaurs in his natural habitat working on a mask wearing program. Absolutely. <laughs> in our hallways, we have velvet ropes to ensure everyone has a one-way flow. Also, every room has a door that staff and learners leave out of, and the entrance is specifically just to enter the building. So we make our way down to this end of the building. We have our middle school and high school learner age classrooms. We're just finishing up our weekly Friday dance party. Hey. <laughs> and come on in. We've got an enchanted forest theme for this room that is in the works. Um, but again, lots of spacious areas to be able to divide learners and technicians and behavior consultants. Um, tabletop and room dividers, plenty of space for individual things, lots of uh, areas for skill acquisition and programming. Room five has a tranquil feel. Again, it's our upperclassmen at this end of the building. Um, we've got a little relaxation nook. We've got areas to divide up instruction, um, dividers in between desks. Of course, there's opportunities for some basketball and other leisure activities on breaks, but we've got more of a, that upperclassman feel with the desks and the, and the whiteboards. Welcome to our gymatorium. As you guys just missed, we had a socially distanced party just wrap up here. You can see we have everyone spaced out six feet apart, separated by our plexiglass. This is also where we use our gymatorium for our movement matters, uh, working out with the learners. And as you can tell, this room is almost always set up like this and always set up to socially distance. Come on out to our playground. We've got a nice wide space here 
divided if needed by age, by numbers, plenty of room. We've got picnic tables in the shade, different sized basketball nets, a few little cars and things for the kids to play in. They're all easily sanitized with our fogger and our misters. Um, it's just, it's a great alternative space to get our kids moving when they need a nice ex uh, gross motor break. All right, so we've got to wrap you guys up. Send you out, we've got learners coming in. Give a shout out to Andrea Bader, who wasn't able to be here today. Um, but have a great weekend. Thanks for coming by.